All right. Let's see what has Eliza. Because Eliza been tweeting. She has been a busy bee. Why can't I uh, uh, share my screen? What the f This is an old. It's not even that old of a laptop. I bought this, what, summer of 2020? 2021, maybe? And yes, I did spill an entire cup of coffee on it. Uh-oh. 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 This is very bad. I spilled a whole cup of coffee on my computer. Shit. But it seems to be working just fine. But now I can't I can't share Safari. Okay. Maybe I'll just read them. Wow, she's been tweeting a lot. She's been tweeting a lot lately. Yeah. So anyway, this is all about spin. She's just going to make this about how uh, there's she's producing an air of exclusivity around her. And she's making it seem like it's for VIPs only. Not that she is literally blocking anybody who asks her a question or her disagrees with her delusional version of reality. She's still tweeting cat memes. Uh, there's this image that says, bully, take a hike. Me, after taking his advice and enjoying the beauty of nature. Like, oh my God, like Eliza's going to pretend that she's so above it all. She's going to make it seem like, oh, this is just drama. I'm ignoring this. I'm bigger than this. Instead of like, no girl, you got, you got uncovered. You got exposed. You got found out. People realized you were lying. Uh, people think you're suspect. And she's just not going to acknowledge any of that at all. And she's just going to pretend she's holier than thou. What I don't like is she did a quote tweet of Hotep Jesus had this tweet says, what happens when your favorite influencer falls for a psyop? Should they be forgiven? Now I watched this Hotep Jesus video. It's, it's all about basically left wing black uh, influencers not being hired to do speeches anymore because we're not in an election year. And as far as I've watched on Hotep Jesus's video, it's about that. But Eliza, and she's a master manipulator, she quote tweets, uh, the Hotep Jesus tweet where he's saying, what happens when your favorite influencer falls for a PSYOP? Should they be forgiven? Let's discuss now. And the PSYOP he's discussing is, is one that kind of like left-wing um, black Democrats fall for. Because like he's talking about BLM, he's talking about how just the Democratic Party takes advantage of, of black people precisely leading up to an election. But since Eliza's the master of spin, she quote tweets it to say, I have a team looking into the bots. Like she's making it about herself. My name trending on and off for three weeks was an overplayed hand. I'm an ANCAP. The plan was to remove my seat at the table. God decides. Now she brings in the more shit she's in and the more lies she's caught in, the more she brings up God. God decides where I sit, not Twitter bots, reactionaries, the ruling class, corporate press, or any government. Now she's like, it's me against the man. It's like, girl, you still lied. <laughs> you still lied and you still censored people just for asking questions about your mu music videos. I feel like if I'm not targeted or seen as controversial, then I'm not doing enough. A bot farm purchased in an attempt to smear my name simply showed me my worth. I have been so effective that I'm worth destroying. So thank you for the compliment. She's spinning everything into a compliment. This girl's ego is out of control. She's the definition of like, fake it till you make it. And then when everyone finds out they were lying, continue to fake it till, till you, I guess, make it again. I guess that's her plan. P.S. I didn't lose my seat at any table that has value towards my overall goals of maximum freedom for all. If anything, the attacks toward me solidified my seat. The individuals that I'm at the table with have faced the same attacks. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, Eliza? You're talking out of your ass. Literally, she's just trying to make it sound like I didn't, I didn't lose my seat at the table. It's like, girl, you bailed out of the Minds Fest. Someone even said, why did you pull out of Minds Fest? Someone said, uh, Ultra Mega Force responded with, because she is a censoring clown. Me, me, me. You're actually quite boring. These comments. Every She's getting ratioed. People are not forgetting. It's like, girl, you can't block everybody. 
So what do you say to the ones who gave you 100% support and saw the video of what you said about the children? My heart sunk that day. Yeah, there's no explaining that. I look forward. I looked forward to hearing you speak at minds. Can't wait for all the lies in person. You are objectively a bad person. Translation, you fooled the right people. Wow. I found you a table. It's just a table with one seat. Yeah, she's getting ripped. Pray for peace. De-escalation should be the only conversation right now. My God, Eliza, you're so you're so much holier than thou. You're so above it all. I'm working on a new project called 2050. I'm so inspired by this project that I'll probably be working on it until I'm in my final days. It's intimidating, but worth it. Go after what you love with passion. I look forward to seeing what you create. So she's just not acknowledging anything. Somebody responded. She's going to corner the project developers for super chats straight to her cash app. These comments are funny. She's straight aggressive panhandling. Give me that loot. Oh, my God. The number of followers she'll have left after blocking all of the, quote, bots. Please don't talk about it until then. We need a break from your drama. One person who is a fan of her still wrote, good for you. Keep growing and healing. That's what matters the most. She's all talk, this girl. All talk. All talk. Eliza Blue is all talk. Ghost Crusaders. Not going to lie. She had a tight body in that video. Didn't know. Don't know why. <laughs> don't know why she mass flagged that one and not the one where her gut was hanging over her fupa. <laughs> she probably didn't think that all her music videos would get found out. We all saw her seat. It was jiggling in the desert. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We saw that sleet. That sleet. We saw that seat in slow motion. Dimples and all, uh, slowly twerking through the desert. Wowie, wowie, wowie. When you talk out of your ass, everyone can smell the shit. Yup. She's just so delusional. She must know that no one believes her. And she's like, I guess I'm just going to keep, she's going to keep lying. She's going to, she's doing her best to keep up appearances, but you, I think she knows she's fucked, which is why she won't go to a public event. Because she can't control, uh, she can't control a live event. She can control Twitter. She can keep blocking people who ask questions. She can keep tweeting like everything's fine. But when you get somebody in person, you know, she can't avoid all the questions and she can't avoid hiding her face and her true emotions and like, like what her face would look like when goes when, when someone goes, hey, Eliza, we know you lied. So there. Uh, exactly, exactly. She says she has a team looking into the... She is so good at making it sound like she's more impressive, important, rich, etc. than she is. Oh, I have a team. Oh, I have people. She has a team looking into the bots. Where is she getting the money from? I think she's full of shit. I think she's just full of shit. She has she had like one assistant, that Amanda chick. She's absolutely full of it. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.